Hey you guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Coming at you with another great workout this morning. Here is what you can expect. So I want you to set up your space. I want you to have your mat and a set of weights. I'm gonna challenge you today, like I have been the last few days going heavy on those weights. But of course, that just means what do you have at home? What do you have available to you? Tens, seven or eights, a set of fives, whatever you have will work. Um, I've been hearing about some people not even having weights at home, not having weights available to you, grabbing some water bottles or some cans out of the pantry. So seriously, it is just about what you have um, to be able to work with. Um, so today we've got a series of eight groupings of exercises. And what I mean by that grouping of exercise, we're gonna start with a pretty simplistic cardio exercise, only be in that exercise for about 15 to 20 seconds just to elevate that heart rate. From there, you, were, you will either already have those weights or grab your weights and we go straight into a strength exercise. We finish off that grouping of exercises with the same cardio move for another 15 to 20 seconds. We're gonna do that a total of eight times. Then depending on how much time we have left in the workout for that 30 minute marker, my plan is to come back to those strength exercises. So we will do another round of just the strength, cutting out the cardio portion of those groupings and put it together in one smooth flowing round. So that is the plan. And of course the plan always starts with that warm up. So if you're, if you're ready, there are my words, let's go ahead and step back and start that warm up. It's gonna begin with those wide lunges. From here, feet are nice and wide. You're gonna reach down and across. Give yourself a pulse in that lunge. Reach down and across. Opening up the chest, reaching the fingertips toward that opposite toe. We got 10. In eight, seven. You're coming to the center for a squat hold. It's good to see everybody this morning. Five, in four, take it center squat. You're there in three, two, and one. Center for that squat hold to stay low. Chest is lifted. Sometimes I like to bring those hands up for that added reach, that added challenge. You're here for another six. In five, we take it up and start those body weight squats in three, two, and one. From here, down and up. Good. You can bring those feet in a little bit. We're in these body weight squats for another 10, nine, eight, in seven. Those feet are going to come together for our straight leg kicks, reaching out to the opposite toe in four, three, two, and one. Right here, reaching out to that toe. We got 10. You're gonna make your way to the narrow side of your mat for those inchworm roll downs. Rolling down one vertebra at a time, then hands walk out to plank in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, narrow side of that mat, rolling down. Once you're there, those hands are gonna walk out to plank. Once you're in that plank, we've got a wide knee check each direction. Then we walk those hands in and up. We got three more of those, down, roll it out. Walk it out to plank, knee check one and two. Bring it in and up, lock it up. Two more of these, knee check. This is our last walk up on the next plank inchworm. You're gonna stay in that plank from those knee checks. Here we go, lock it out, double knee check. Go one, go two. Now hold that plank, hold it, hold it, breathe. You have eight. Seven, knees are coming down to tabletop position. From here, we're going into those cat-cow stretches. Here's three, two, and one. Knees come down. You're gonna flow through that cat-cow series, tucking the chin, arching that mid-spine, and then into your cow, dipping through the spine, lifting those hips up and back, and then pressing that chest and chin forward. You've got eight, in seven, meeting me in kneeling position in four, three, two, and one. Just gonna walk it up, come up to kneeling. Hardest part of our warm up, it's those surrenders. We start with that right foot first in three, two, and one. It goes right, left, right, left. Now switch to left comes up first, right, then left, right. We switch back to right. Good. Stay low, alternating that lead. The last knee that comes down is the first foot that comes up. You've got 12 seconds left here. Switch, up, up, down. Here, six, five, four, three, up to standing in two and one. Yes, warm up is done, you guys. Nice. 
Okay, so here is our first series of work. You're gonna grab those weights. For 15 seconds, we're going into that alternating bouncy heel tap. Then from there, weights come to the shoulders, feet go wide, and you're down and up in those squats. Weights are gonna stay at the shoulders for your squats. From there, weights come back down to the thighs, and you're right back into that heel tap. This is our first round of work. Go ahead and grab those weights. We go in six. Heel taps begin in five, four, three, two, and one. Right here. You're just letting those weights hang right at those thighs. Chest is lifted, chin is up, and you're lightly mounting from the balls of your feet to press those heels out and forward. You've got five. In four, weights to the shoulders, start those squats in two, and one, here we go. One minute in these squats, down and up. No rush through the squats. Send those hips back, and then squeeze all the way up. Now after our squats, we're gonna go right back into those heel taps. Down and back up and squeeze. You've got about 30 seconds remaining in these squats. Slow and steady. Down and back. Up and in. Now I don't want your weights resting on your shoulders. I want you actively holding just in front of the shoulders. Those elbows pointed out front. You've got 12. Weights are coming down to those thighs again for those heel taps. One more time. In seven. You've got four. Three, two, and one. Stand tall, weights down. Here we go, 15 seconds of this heel tap. Breathe through, breathe through. Right here, for seven, six, five, weights down in four, three, two, and one. Yes, exercise grouping number one of eight. So that's gonna be the pattern that we follow today. Cardio, strength, cardio. Here's a demo of our second grouping of exercises. You're gonna use one weight on this series. We start with those plank jacks. Up and out and down and in, we've done these before. Or you can modify by taking it to that step out jack with one weight. Then from there, you're gonna have that weight. You're gonna squeeze it on either side. You're gonna reverse lunge and row with that torso twist to the outside thigh. Grab your one weight. We start those press jacks in 10. After one minute of that reverse lunge row, we're back into press jacks to finish this series. We go in five, four, here we go jacks in three, two, one. Up and out, in and down. We've got eight. In five, four, to your lunge row, in two, and one, here we go, reverse lunge row. Step together, center, now switch, reverse lunge row. Step together, center. So your chest is always turning toward the front thigh. As you do, you're bringing that weight around like you're rowing a boat. Come back to center as you step together and switch. Good work, you guys, stay with it. Row, step together, breathe. Nice, we got this. Halfway through your reverse lunge row. From here we take it back into those press jacks. Stay with it. In 15 seconds, meet me in those press jacks. Up and out down and together in seven, six, five, four, three, one more, two, and one. Here we go. Up and in. Light on those feet. Bring it in. Squeeze that weight. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Here's three, two, and one. Breathe. Drop that weight, grab your water. How y'all doing? I like to come back and just check the comments here every now and then. I see y'all are here, you're doing it. Let's keep it up. 
demo on round number three. Now we have eight of these to get through. You can think of them as maybe intervals, thinking of them as working hard through that period of time, not too long, and then right back into your breather, okay? This is how this is gonna look through these eight exercise series. In round number three, we start with a weighted march. Just holding those weights at the shoulders and bringing those knees up as high as you can to the chest, squeezing those abs in our weighted march. Then from there, upper body work. Woo, after yesterday, we need more of that, right? A half curl up into that deltoid, down from the deltoid, releasing the curl. From there, weights come back to the shoulders and we march it out. Grab those weights, we start our march in eight. Here we go, weights to the shoulders. March it out in five, four, three, two, and one. Starting that march, squeeze, up and in, squeeze. Weights don't move. You got 10. Standing, taking it to that half bicep curl, turning those elbows out to your deltoid raise in four, three, here's two, and one. Palms are facing up, we give it a half curl. Then from there, we take those elbows out, level to the shoulders, bring it down, palms facing up, and release that curl. This is our strength exercise for the next 45 seconds. Up and in, and reach those elbows out, Turn it in, palms come up, and then release the rest of that curl. Good, y'all. Have those shoulders feeling after yesterday. Woo! Up, out, in, and down. In, and down. Good, you guys, so good. You had 20 seconds remaining in this upper body strength exercise. And we go right back into that weighted march. Round number three here, I made it a little less intense on purpose. You got seven, six, in five, weights to those shoulders, march it out in three, two, and one. Weights come to the shoulders and we march right here. Give you 20 seconds in this march. Squeeze those abs, pull, 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 speed it up. You got eight, seven, here's six. In five, four, three, breathe, two, and one more. Yes, drop those weights. Good, you guys, good. Okay, nice. We're at about 11 minutes now. Good work. Here we go. Round number four. You can keep those weights with you. We're going into a weighted burpee. So standing nice and wide with those feet. The hands are gonna be on those weights. You're gonna take them down. Then from there, you jump back, feet together, jump wide, and then stand, okay? From there, your wide standing position. Palms are just gonna turn in with those weights. Toes are gonna turn out. It's down to a sumo squat and up into that upright row. That's our one minute from there. Straight back into that burpee. Now the difference between a burpee and what we're doing here, we're not releasing the chest and belly all the way to the floor, which would be a true burpee. So you can think of this more as a plank to squat thruster, okay? Go ahead and grab those weights. We start in that burpee in 10. Feet are wide. Hands come down, feet jump back. Then those feet jump wide and we stand in five, four, three, two, one. It goes hands, toes, heels, stand. Hands, toes, heels, stand. Yes, we got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Give me one more. 3, 2, 1. Palms turn in, toes turn out, all down, all up. Probably the most challenging round. You're in it right now. All down, all up. Breathe through this. Squeeze from that backside. Pull the shoulders, lift the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, and take those elbows up and down. Give me 30 more seconds in this sumo upright row. From here, we take it back to that weighted burpee. Heart rate is elevated. Control that breathing. We got 15. Stay with it, you guys. 12. Here's eight, seven, get ready, hands come down. 
Finishing off on that burpee in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Hands, toes, heels, stand. Hands, toes, heels, stand. Good. 10, seven. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Halfway. Good news is, four, circuit number five, we are coming down. You will still need those weights near your mat. I'm gonna turn my mat here. We're gonna come down to our back. Our cardio move this round are your bicycle pedal crunches. From there, you're gonna grab those weights and we're gonna go to a chest fly. So just real quick, it's gonna look like this. From these bicycle pedals, nice and fast, quick. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. You're gonna reach over safely, Getting those weights, open up chest fly, bring it down and then dropping those weights when we're ready for that ending cardio circuit on those bicycle pedals again. Go ahead, I was about to grab my weights. Nope, we don't need them yet. Here we go. Bicycle pedal crunches begin in five, four, three, two, one. One knee comes in, the other leg extending out, twisting across that torso, you've got 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Grab the weights, chest fly in three, two, one. Good, go ahead and blind those heels. Safely grabbing those weights, they come up above the chest and shoulders. From there we open up and we squeeze in. Now what you can do here, as we've done before, bringing those knees up into tabletop, shins parallel to the ceiling or sky. From there, you can add in one leg extension alternating. You can add in a double leg extension so long as that back doesn't try to gap from your mat or you can add in a toe tap. Perfectly okay to just keep those heels on the ground if that's what feels best for you. I'm going a single toe tap, double leg extension, and then down. Yes. Find something that challenges you but that allows you to keep that perfect form. In 10, nine, we drop those weights back to your bicycle pedal crunches. In five, four, weights come down in three, two, and one. Weights are down, here we go. Three, two, one, pedal those knees, pull in, twist. Breathe with it. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Four, three, two, and one, and release. Great. Roll it up, but stay low. We're staying down on that mat. Here is our series for round number six. We've got 15 seconds of mountain climbers. From there, you're gonna grab those weights. I'm actually gonna start with my weights, weights right underneath my chest. But when I'm in those mountain climbers, my hands are gonna be wider than the weights. Then from there, I'm gonna grab my hands onto those weights and we've got double renegade row each side for a minute. Hands will come back down to my mat and 15 seconds of those mountain climbers, okay? Your modification on that running pace mountain climber is instead to walk it out. Here we go in seven, we start with 15 seconds of mountain climbers. Come on, y'all. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. For 15 seconds, those knees are pulling right in underneath the chest. In, out, in, out. Yes, here. Seven, six, five, four. You've got three, two, and one. Set it up for those ready day rows. You're going double on each side. Here's one and two. Switch it. One and two. Trying to keep your back nice and flat. One of your options here is to come down to those knees. If that's still a little too much, you can even do these rows from tabletop. Pulling those knees in directly underneath the hips. So you won't have as much core engagement there, but that's okay if it keeps you going here. Halfway through. Slow that breathing. You are in full control of your breathing. 
So think about in through the nose, out through the mouth, and when you're releasing that breath, exhaling, I want you to imagine that you are blowing through a straw. In, and out through a straw. You've got six, in five, we take it to those mountain climbers, in three, two, and one. Here we go, mountain climbers, last 15 right here. We've got 10, eight, six, five, four, down in three, two, and one. Yes. Whoo. That was number seven. Sorry, excuse me, I lied. That was number six. <laughs> you got two more rounds of work. Breathe here. Oh, grab your water. Cardio, strength, cardio. In one smooth circuit. Hello. <laughs> Grouping number seven from your mat. We are back on those shoulders, I know. So we've got upper body work here. We've got core work, of course. Lots of strength here. We're gonna take it to 15 seconds of those plank jacks. Your option is to take it to step outs instead for our strength. Here's what it is. From that plank position, you're going down on the right, down on the left, up on the right, up on the left. Nice, wide hands and down for a push. The next time you go down, down, up, up, leading with the left. Are you ready? We might not have time to get back through that strength, you guys. We're probably not. Whew. That might be okay with me. Okay, here we go. We start with those plank jacks. In four, three, two, one. Out and in. 15 seconds right here. Out in, out in. Now sometimes too for a modification, I add in a little bounce like this. Bend those knees and bounce before you bring it in or out. You got six, five, four, hold plank in three, two, and one. Right here holding plank. Start with that down, down. Right, left, right, left, go push. And up. Now we go left, lead down, down, up, up, go push. Right lead. Take these slow, you guys. Slow and controlled engagement through the entire body, but also the slower you take it, the less reps you have to do. And that is not such a bad thing in this one. Down, down, up. You can drop to those knees at any time. Just don't quit. Don't quit on me. You are strong. You can do this. We have 15. 15 seconds. We end circuit number seven with 15 seconds of those plank jacks in five, whoo, four, three, two, and one. Come with me. 15 right here. Out in, out in. We've got 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Whew. Good news now. We're coming back up to standing position for circuit series number eight. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, we're at 22 minutes. We're gonna finish right here on this eighth circuit and then we're gonna take it to an extended cool down. We're not going back through those strength exercises like I thought we'd have time for. That's okay, this is tough. All right, here's what we got. Your cardio in this one. With no weights, you're gonna have a standing position and into that high knee run. Modification option, not a march. We've already done a march. Rather than focusing on getting those knees up, your modification option here is a jog in place. Then from there, you're gonna reach down, grab those weights. Feet go underneath the hips. You're coming down for that hinge, a double underhand row, and then standing from that hinge. After a minute of that, dropping those weights and back into that high knee run or jog. Let's start that high knee in 10. Here we go. Last series of work. We got this five, four, three, two, and one. Give me that high knee or jog. Whatever you're doing, as long as you're moving. Here's 10, eight, six, Five, grab your weights in four, three, two, 
one, grab those weights, palms are up and out, hinge it forward, two rows, one, and two, stand and squeeze, down and forward, two rows, this is it, you guys, finish strong, really think about squeezing that backside, up and under the chest, engaging those abs, when you're in that row, you're not just slouched forward in that bend, you're engaged, you're activated, from the back of your legs, all the muscles down your spine, squeezing in those shoulder blades together. You got 25 seconds here. We drop those weights and we take it back to your high knee or your jog. We have so got this, you guys, hang in there. 15. Whew. We got 10. In five. Drop those weights, give me that high knee run or jog. In three, two, and one. Weights come down, here we go. Knees up or heels up, just to move. Move fast, move for the challenge. Move for your strength right here. A Little longer, a little longer, just because I know we can. You have 15 seconds remaining from right now. Now 10, seven, Here's five, four, you've got three, two, and one. Yes. Oh. Let that heart rate come down naturally. Keep your head above your heart. Oh. I want to know in the comments, did anyone do this one outside today? <laughs> because I walked outside this morning and it was another nope. <laughs> yesterday was a big old fat nope. Because yesterday, so bad. Today is not so bad humidity wise, still not uh, enjoyable to say the least. So if you did this outside, extra kudos to you. All right, not quite done yet. We have those cool down stretches. So I want you to take those feet nice and wide, knees and toes pointed out like you're going into a sumo, but you're not. You're gonna reach those arms up. You're gonna sweep it into that downward motion. Up, up, up. Come back the way you came from, down into that sweep. Up, two more, one each way. Sweep it down, reach it up, one more, and reach it up. Now from here, keeping those feet nice and wide, you're gonna hinge it forward into your flat back. Good, you're feeling that stretch through those inner thighs. You're feeling it down the backs of your thighs where your glutes and your hamstrings meet. Hold those arms out wide, reach those fingertips. Think about separating those shoulder blades, reaching out like you're touching both walls in the room. Now take those fingertips, reach to the ground and fold forward. Whew. From here, I just want you to kind of sway. You're gonna bend the knee to the side you're coming from, kind of like a side lunge, but not all the way down deep. Opening up those hips, stretching a little more into those glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs, a little bit into those quads. You're here for another five. Whatever side you're on, you're gonna come all the way down into that lunge stretch in three, two, and one. So I'm coming down to one side, it doesn't matter which way you're coming from. That stretched out leg, you're gonna point the toe up and then flex it. Like you're bringing that toe to your shoulder on that side. Hold that stretch, you've got eight. In seven, we're just gonna switch sides. Up and over, other side in five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up and over. Sink that booty down onto that opposite heel. Flexing that foot, this leg, stay straight. Feel it through that inner thigh, feel it through the back of the leg. Flexing that foot takes it into your calf and your Achilles. Holding here for another seven. In six, you've got five. We're gonna come to the center in three, two, and one. So come to the center, both legs go straight. And once you're there, you're gonna toe, heel, toe, heel. Those feet all the way in together and underneath those hips. Tuck that chin, forehead to your knees, and you're gonna start pedaling those knees and heels. One knee bend, that heel lifts. The other heel presses down to the ground. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold in two, and one, both heels are down. Now take those palms flat to the ground and step back to plank. Good. Once you're in plank, you're gonna lift all the way up to down dog. Then you're gonna bend those knees into your bear, and you're gonna push forward shoulders over elbows. So when you go into down dog, those shoulders come back, with those shoulders still back, bending the knees, then it's like you're gonna push off and come forward to plank. Down dog. Bent knee bare. Push forward to plank. Down dog. 
Bent knee there, push forward to plank. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, holding down dog in 3, 2, and 1. You can separate those feet out a little bit wider, holding your down dog. You're here for another 8, and we begin walking those hands back into the toes in 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands are going to walk in between the toes. From here, just roll up one vertebra at a time, and neck and shoulders last to come up. Fingertips still hanging down, bend those knees, and reach up and out. Hands come together at the top and down in front of that heart prayer position. We are so grateful, we are so blessed to be able to move our bodies, to challenge ourselves physically, mentally, all the things. I hope you're feeling so good right now. You've got that endorphin release, you got it done. Not quite what I had expected. I thought that we were gonna have time to go back through those strength exercises again, you guys, but just because we didn't, does not make this workout any less effective. It maybe not was exactly what I had planned, but you guys, it was a good one. I hope you feel that way too. Thank you for joining me. Maria says, thank you, I needed that. Awesome girl, I'm glad you were here. I love going back through and seeing your comments after these workouts. It just makes my day knowing that you did this. You did this for you, but you trusted me to lead you through it, and that means so much to me. Thank you guys, I will see you tomorrow. When we are here, oh, Crystal, your favorite one, whoo, girl. When we are here tomorrow, I may be going live both from my private, I'm sorry, my public Facebook page and the Wicked Core virtual classes. So a heads up to those of you who may be doing workouts in both. Tomorrow at 9.30 when it's me in the Wicked Core group, it's also gonna be the same workout that I'm doing with my boot campers here in the virtual live from my page. So what that means for you boot campers, you know what it is. I'm gonna tell you right now, build on plank challenge. For you Wicked Core clients, I know build on plank challenge means nothing to you, but the words I know you heard right there is plank challenge. <laughs> so I'm bringing both workouts, the same workout to both groups tomorrow, and I'm so excited to have that happen. So I'll see you here 9.30 tomorrow. Have a great day, you guys. Happy Wednesday.